All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about floor material and tagging and what and the difference between a floor schedule, um, a floor material tag off, a category floor uh, tag, and a material tag. So just sort of try to explain a little bit about those and what you may want to use depending on how you're doing um, your floors. So in this case, what I have is I have a basic subfloor right so like an existing floor that's a three inch um, concrete on two inch metal deck and if I isolate that element you'll see it goes behind that whole set of floors and then I have some finished floors so I have a ceramic tile I have a laminate and I have a wood floor that are all sitting on top of this guy so if I come in and take a look at this section I have the base floor and I have this top floor and then you can see the, cer the ceramic behind the vinyl right there just in elevation okay so that's what we've got so the um, <clears throat> the tags I have two different kinds of tags on each one of these this is a material tag so the ones with the points on them are material tags and these are floor tags so the floor tags are actually reading from the floor itself so if I come in and pick this floor and I go to edit type right you're gonna see that this is FF1 right <clears throat> it's marmoleum type and it's 218 square feet which should be reading out somewhere over here it is right so it's basically reading from the floor now this one on top the laminate maybe is actually a material tag and it's reading from the material so if I open up the material dialog box, right, let's, and we take a look at the marmoleum, or sorry, the laminate, right? Look at that laminate navy. If we go to the identity, right, you're going to see the mark is set to VF01. It's <clears throat> reading from the name, right, of the material. So it's reading from the material itself. So this is true of each one of these. So there's the wood flooring, wood flooring. So this is the um, material tag here, reading from the material. This is the floor tag, reading from the floor, right? So if you look at the floor schedule, it's reading all the information from the floor tags. So you can see the type mark, or sorry, the, um, the mark is SFO finished floor one, finished floor two, finished floor three, and then you will see the type. So the type name comes out here and then the square footage, right? And then if you do a floor material takeoff, you can get in a floor material takeoff all the same information that you can get from the floor. Right, so here's almost the exact, this is the exact same information that you're getting from the floor schedule right and then here's the exact same uh, or not the exact same but here's specifics about the material right so now it's reading the material name instead of the floor type name and it's reading out the material areas which happen to be pretty much the same now the only thing that is a little unusual is we have a little exposed bit of concrete floor here that if you needed to have that polished or, or do some finish to that, you might have to actually lay another floor over there in order to get it to um, read out because you can't really take the 1,024 square feet, add all this up, subtract it, and get your, get your number, right? Um, so this is definitely one way to do it, and it's very effective um, and gives you sort of duplicate information of course the only thing um, you may want to do if you're doing um, <clears throat> interiors is you might want to just filter out right the subfloor right from what you're working with um, okay so that's that I'll save this file um, uh, up to the server um, oh one last thing you should know that like if you look at these tags right um, there are different versions of the tag so you have a standard or you could just do a mark and a name or you could do a mark in an area or you could just do the mark 
right? So various ways of setting up these tags, however you want to do that. Um, also, one thing worth noting is that the material tag, if I edit that family, right, and I look at the name, right, so that's the name of the material, there's the mark that's coming from the material, but if I go, um, let's say I wanted to add another label, there is no area in here that we can tag, which is kind of interesting. So if you want to be able to tag by default the area, you will have to use the floor. The floor tags actually allow you to get the area of the floor. Okay, so when I come back, we'll talk about painting things.